Welcome back to the Detail Garage. So a common question we get here is how do you clean brake dust off of chrome rims, painted rims, or OEM rims? So over here we've got two vehicles that have caked on brake dust, road grime, basically anything you throw at it, and we're gonna clean it all off today using two different brushes. So we have the new Showcar Premium Detailing Brush, which is intended for heavy duty brake dust like you have on this Mitsubishi over here. And we also have our new Easy Reach Wheel Brush, which is for your painted rims or delicate surfaces like on this Mustang. Now this is a 2005 Mustang. It's black. You can see it's been through a lot. I don't know what the owner got into, but these cars definitely have some kind of crowd control. Um, it looks like it's been off-roading. You can see there's kind of dirt and mud and just all kinds of stuff that's caked up on the wheel. So over here, we have our soft bristle brush. This is what I was talking about before. It has the same design as the show car brush, but it's not going to be as aggressive. It's very soft, so you can use it on your painted rims or sensitive paintwork. You can use it on uh, grills, exhaust tips, anything you want to get kind of, you know, all that nasty filth off of, but if it's a sensitive surface or painted surfaces. Now over here, I have a bucket set up with some Diablo wheel gel. This is going to help me clean. It's going to emulsify any brake dust or dirt. And it's also going to add lubrication so we don't scratch as we wash. And I've also added a dirt trap in here just so we can prevent more of that dirt from coming back onto the vehicle. So now, as you can see, just by rinsing it off, it's knocked down a bunch of that loose dirt and debris, but there's still some brake dust and embedded contaminants on there that we're going to get off using the soft wheel brush. So using a lot of foam here, we'll start by working at the top, and then we'll work our way around the uh, wheel, and this way we don't bring any of this filth and contamination on top of the areas that we've already cleaned. But what's great about this brush is it reaches all the way down the barrel of the rim that we get as much of the brake dust and contaminants off because as you can see this is a, a large spoke area so as you look at it you can see all the way to the back of the wheel and it would look kind of funky if you looked in there you could see brake dust and grime still. So this brush has taken off all the brake dust, road grime, contaminants uh, without scratching the surface. You can see it's really soft and it took it off, you know, added a lot of foam on there which acts as lubrication, but it didn't cover the entire face of the wheel. So now we're going to move on to a more intricate brush. This is the Boar's Hair Brush, and this is for like your lug nuts or in here where it gets pretty tight between the spokes. Get some foam on there to start working it in. Now over here you might notice I have the Decon. Uh, it looked like this rim was really contaminated and really dirty, but after rinsing it off and scrubbing it for a little bit, you can see that the, the brake dust and road grime comes off pretty easily. Now, the Mitsubishi, on the other hand, that thing looks really bad, and I know it's going to need some decon and a lot of scrubbing, so we'll save that uh, for when we get to that car. So as you can see, the boar's hair brush got in really nicely for the spokes, the lug nuts around the valve stem and also on your calipers. The design of it helps you break off any embedded contaminants or caked on brake dust without actually scratching the surface. And also since it has this plastic design, you can bang it up against the rim and you won't have to worry about harming the finish. Now as a last step, I'm going to move on to the face of the rim and using this soft green flag tip brush, get it nice and foamy and then we'll just hit all of the spokes one last time to knock off anything that was sitting behind or any last residue. So as you can see, it's a night and day difference how it looked earlier. Uh, that brush took care of all that brake dust, road grime, any of that mud that I slung up on the wheel. It looks really good, but this actually was like a cakewalk. It was pretty simple to clean. Now on the other hand, this Mitsubishi, this is actually going to be a real challenge. Uh, so it's got all this caked up brake dust, uh, road grime, it's actually embedded the surface, you can feel it. Um, but we're going to try our best to get all, all that out of there. Now when you leave brake dust and road grime on your rims, it's actually corrosive so it starts to eat away at the finish and it gets embedded in the surface. So it's not going to be 100% correction, but it's going to look a lot better than it does right now. Look, it's clean. All done.
So by rinsing off the rim, this has helped me take off as much of the loose brake dust and dirt as I can. It's going to make it easier to clean and it's also going to prevent scratching. Now over here, we're going to load up our bucket using some Diablo wheel gel, just about an ounce. And Diablo wheel gel is safe for any chrome, uh, painted wheels, OEM wheels. It's going to create this foamy action which is going to help you get really deep within the pores of the surface and it's also going to prevent scratching with all the lubrication it's creating. So now that I've got my bucket loaded up here with a bunch of foam and all my brushes are ready to go, I'm going to spray down the wheel using some Decon. And what Decon is, is it's a wheel cleaner, all surface cleaner basically, that attaches to any iron. It creates a reaction that helps emulsify it and it pulls it off the rim. So we'll just spray a generous amount on the rim because as you can see, it's got a lot of brake dust and contamination on there and we really need to cut through there to get down to the actual bare surface. So now I'm going to let this sit for just a couple minutes and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to help load up my brushes to get this foaming action going. The foam is going to help add some lubrication, which is going to prevent scratching, but it's also going to make it easier to clean because the foaming action is going to get all that brake dust emulsified and helps pull it off. So as I mentioned earlier, this is our new Showcar Premium Detailing Brush. It's the more aggressive version of the brush we used on the Mustang. This one's going to help cut through all this brake dust, get down to the deep, you know, stuff that's embedded and get this rim looking right. So as you can see, the uh, Decon is doing its thing. It's making a reaction that's that purple color. It's the iron reacting with the actual chemical. It's pulling it out of the surface. It's going to make it easy to clean, give it that high shine. So just like I did with the other rim, I'm going to start at the highest point and work my way around just so I'm not getting that dirt and filth on areas I've already cleaned. This is gross. So just like on the Mustang, the last step I want to do is clean the face of the wheel. I'll be using the green flag tip brush. This is a soft brush that collects a lot of foam and it's not going to scratch the surface, but it's going to pull off any last residue, brake dust, road grime, what have you, and give it that high shine. Alrighty guys, both cars are finally done. Starting over here with the Mustang, we're using the Easy Reach Wheel Brush. This is a soft bristle brush that got in between the spokes, took care of any road grind, brake dust, debris, without actually scratching the surface. And to help me clean, I was using Diablo Wheel Gel, which creates a lot of foam which acts as lubrication just to ensure that we don't scratch it. And then to get into the uh, smaller areas, I used a boar's hair brush which got the spokes in between the lug nuts and also around the valve stem. And it's great for cleaning small areas like the caliper. And then to get the face of the wheel, I used our green flag tip brush, which is a soft bristle brush that takes off any kind of surface debris without scratching. Now moving over to the Mitsubishi, this car was actually a really challenge. That's why we used our Show Car Premium Detailing Brush. It's a more aggressive bristle brush that can get in between the spokes, pull off any kind of contamination or grime that's stuck in there without actually scratching the surface. Now to help me clean, I used the Decon, which is an iron remover. As you saw before, this car or this wheel was covered in brake dust. The Decon cut through that, had a chemical reaction and helped remove that. And then to clean off the smaller areas, I also used the boar's hair brush, which got in between the lug nuts, the valve stem around here in the smaller engine area. And then to clean the face of the rim, I used our green flag tip brush, which is a soft bristle brush that took care of anything that was sitting on the face of the rim without scratching. It took care of any brake dust, road grime, maybe any residues that were left behind. Also, you guys probably noticed that there's some small areas where there's a little bit of brake dust left behind. It's because it's actually starting to pit the surface. Um, brake dust is very corrosive, so it can get into the surface and it starts deteriorating to the finish. But uh, using a clay bar, you can actually get in there, work it out, and get it looking you know, at least 80% better, and then it's ready for a polish. So if you guys want to learn more about these products, check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.